exercise problems 101 lower back pain from squats if there's one thing that fitness buffs and health enthusiasts agree on it is the importance of having an exercise regimen more often than not these exercises would have squats incorporated in them however almost everyone who does squats will tell you that they experienced lower back pain from squats it is like a given thing for squats why is this so what can you do to prevent this one the bar may be too high remember that when you are squatting high bar your position must not be similar to how you sit when doing a squatting low bar when you do you will surely get lower back pain this is because the barbell is now way too far from your center of gravity you can prevent this by squatting high bar while keeping an upright torso or by putting the bar lower and sitting back if you are a beginner with squats it is highly suggested that you squat low bar to achieve better leverage in time you'll be able to gain more muscle because you can lift more weight Two, you may be squatting too deep keep in mind that you can't squat low bar too deeply that your buttocks would touch the floor this is because a high bar position is necessary for that if you will employ a high bar position with a rock bottom squat you have to make sure that you have the needed flexibility otherwise you will end up having your lower back rounding up at your bottom and this will hurt you as soon as you are squatting weights to prevent lower back pain try to squat low bar then stop as soon as you are parallel your knees and lower back will thank you and you'll be able to squat with more weight three you may be loose on your squat one of the reasons why you still end up rounding at the bottom even when not squatting too deep is that you are losing tension at the bottom of the squat how to stay tight squat down while sitting back with the hips tighten the lower back by pushing the tailbone towards the ceiling this will tilt your tailbone back pinch the psoas muscle once you do this your lower back will automatically straighten and then pinch on the muscle between the upper thighs and belly strengthen your upper back remember that you cannot tighten your lower back while your upper back is not tight do it by lifting your chest and keeping shoulder blades tight these positions may be awkward at first especially if your hips are used to prolonged sitting Four you are not maximizing your gluteus muscles if you are spending way too much time sitting your first instinct when it comes to squats will make you squat with an arched lower back this hyperextension is just as bad as rounding the lower back at the bottom what you can do to make your lower back start at a neutral position is by using your gluteus muscles as you squat bring your knees out your stance should be at least at shoulder width outwardly rotate your hips as you squat keep your feet flat on the floor so as to create a hollow area that would allow you to bring your knees out more effectively End the lockout part of your squats by bringing hips forward while contracting your gluteus muscle five you are forgetting about your abs maybe you are squatting while your belly is pulled in to stimulate the tva but this is wrong that practice will cause you to have hernia secondary to rounding of your lower back the right way of doing a squat is by taking a full breath before squatting filling the belly with air before bringing the abs out the increase in pressure inside your belly would give support to your back that will power your squat to effectively use your abs you can choose to wear a power lifting belt during squats but you must wear about a notch loose so you can still pull some air into your belly and do your squats as you push the abs towards the belt once you do your squats and you experience lower back pains reconsider your technique more often than not it is the technique that is problematic and not the exercise even merkel tags squats as the misunderstood exercise why because there are just so many benefits that you can get with this exercise as a matter of fact, Dr. Merkel suggests that this should be part and parcel of every exercise regimen. It's simple to do, does not need any equipment, and can be performed anywhere.